Well, good morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever it is, wherever you are from me, Bishop Bishop. As you can see, it's morning here in Florida, in this part of Florida. Well, it's morning everywhere, in every part of Florida, I think. Unless there's some sort of, like, weird thing happening with time somewhere. Some sci-fi type time disruption. Maybe there is, I don't know. Maybe there are pockets of night somewhere right now in Florida. That's kind of fun to think about. In some ways, if someone's watching a live video feed of, let's say, uh, something from some other part of the world, it could be night right now in Florida. But it's not really. That would be just watching a bit of night from somewhere else. This morning, I was thinking about how blessed many of us are. Even when our life is complete caca. I write in a more eloquent way about these sorts of things. Every Sunday, or many Sundays, I aspire to every Sunday, but I don't make it to every Sunday. I uh, do a thing called fill in the thankful. And I often just list things that I'm thankful for. Sometimes I write little mini pieces about one particular thing. Recently I wrote a piece about sunlight. And what a blessing sunlight is. Now, I may not think that it's a blessing from some deity. Occasionally I do, but most of the time I don't. But regardless of that, to think that this hot, plasma ball of my magnetic fields millions of miles away sends this light that does so many things that makes life possible it is pretty damn amazing and on a really crappy day I can be grateful for at least the light I'm also grateful for the Night, I like dark as well. But right now I'm just talking about the light. Grateful for sunlight. Sometimes, some days, you just have to focus on the real simple things. Because if you focus on all the things out of control, and much more things are out of your control than American culture would like you to think. For those of you who are American. If you're not American, then you might need to disregard some of this next little section. But... We have less control than we like to think. Less control than all those self-help books like to tell you. Because the only way they're sold is by convincing you you have more control of your life than you do. And I'm not saying there aren't things you can do to make your life better, to maximize your potential. Though I'm less interested in maximizing potential because I th sometimes think the more, 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 better, better, better is what's all wrong with America. Then maybe what we need to do is get softer, quieter, and deeper. And this comes from someone who is naturally loud and big. But a lot of things just, well, you can't change or not right away. And so on one of those really crappy days, sometimes you got to get simple. you got to look for the small things that are actually kind of big, like sunlight. Sunlight seems like a small thing, and yet it is hugely important to us. We need it for vitamin D. We need it to grow our plants. We need it in order to see. You know, you can see so much better in sunlight than you can with lights on in your house at night. So if you're doing like fine needlework, for example, doing it during the day is so much easier on your eyes. Having tried to do some needlework, which I'm not patient and I'm not very really good at, I can attest to this fact. Of course, my eyes are 40 years old, so they're starting to begin to show the signs that they have been on the planet for a while. But it's not just sunlight, right? Because I wrote about sunlight, and I wrote a really pretty piece about sunlight, and this ain't near as pretty as the piece I wrote. So you should check out my daily dose of the good and not-so-good words, which is getting closer to being daily, which is kind of nice. But anyways, I digress. It could be the sunlight. 
It could be the way your covers feel over your legs when you wake up in the morning. It could be just the quality of the air, whether it's gray skies or blue skies. It could be that leaf that falls from a tree in front of you and pops red against the dark asphalt. Sometimes it's really small things that if you start thinking about it, connect to much larger things, like that leaf was part of a tree, and trees and the canopy absorb our carbon dioxide and give us back oxygen. And so they are vital. That leaf helped sustain your life, and now it has ended its. Though the leaf is just a smaller part of a tree, and the tree's life is continuing, but you, you get my meaning, right? I could keep on rambling, but I'm not. But today, I'd like you to think about some small thing that for which you're grateful, even if you're having a hellacious day. Some small thing that you're grateful for and how that small thing might actually connect to something much, much bigger. Until next time, take care and keep on keeping on.